thing I'm going to say is that today the weather is not my friend. So this video is going to be dark, then a little bit light, then a little bit dark again. I'm sorry, I know that's so annoying. I hate it when that happens when I'm watching YouTube videos. But that's how it is. Because I haven't got my lights yet. Still. How long have I been doing this now? I don't even know how long I've been doing this. But still haven't got my lights. So that's professional. Oh look. Light just changed. Hello YouTube. As you know, or might not know, I've just got back from Antalya in Turkey and I learnt quite a lot more than I was expecting to learn. Don't really go on holiday and think, oh I'm going to learn a lot, do you? But I did. I thought I'd share with you in this video things I learnt abroad. Ten things in fact. That's a lot of learning. I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm just going to get straight into it, so let's go. The first thing I learnt is that foreign music is so much better than British music. Let me give you a little example of what I mean. I don't mean to offend anyone, sorry if you like this British song, I personally don't. have it, I rest my case. The second thing I learnt is that the sea is actually blue, not green. As you can imagine, this was a bit of a shock to the system. The third thing I learnt is that Turkish markets are scary if you're blonde. Very scary. In fact, this one time when me and Chloe went to the market, two blondes in a Turkish market, this man came up to us and he got his camera app up on his phone and he was like, let me take a picture, let me take a picture, I'll give you five euros, let me take a picture of you. Me and Chloe ran. Never went back to that market, funnily enough. The fourth thing I learnt is that if someone poos in a pool, it has to be shut for a good 12 hours to be fully filtered. Remember that. That might be important one day. The fifth thing I learnt is that you shouldn't throw chips into the sea thinking that swarms of fish are going to want to be your friend. Turns out fish don't eat chips. I learned that the hard way, didn't I? The sixth thing I learnt, sixth, sixth, is that blades of grass are the most important part in the Lion King show. Guess who was the best blade of grass? The seventh thing I learnt is that you should always ask the nice man who keeps giving you drinks what the drink is before you drink it. Because it turns out that the pretty colours in the pretty drink actually might be a tequila cocktail. Number eight is that deep fried ice cream was put on this earth for a reason. I literally, I hate using the word literally, I don't always do, but I literally think I ate my own weight in deep fried ice cream. Number nine is that you should not run around the edge of a pool. It will be slippery, it will be busy, and it will be embarrassing if you fall. Trust me. And your knees might hurt for a day or two after. And finally, number ten, I have learnt that I am now 100% sure that when I'm older I will not be living in England. I definitely want to live somewhere as beautiful as Antalya. It's just so much nicer. Why do we live in England? I say that just as the sun comes out. Still don't get it. There are my 10 things I learnt abroad. Take them as you will. Might be helpful, probably not. If you enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up because that would make me happy. Look at this big thumb. Give me one of them, please. Leave a comment down below whether you've had deep fried ice cream in your life or not, because if you haven't, you need to get some. I don't know how they do it, because the ice cream's cold, the batter's hot, but the ice cream's not melted, but it's been deep fried. <sighs> Remember to push that little subscribe button if you haven't already, and you can join my group of friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!